Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to design your Shopify banner image using Canva. Uh, I will show you step by step how to do it. I'm not going to necessarily put much detail into how to design it specifically because that's going to be uh, like up to you. I'll just show you the steps and what you can do and then how to actually upload it and just the overall things that you will be need to be doing in order to actually go ahead and design your uh, banner within your Canva. So uh, here is going to be the image banner we will we will need to replace. So we can just exit out of here. And by the way, you can also just make it medium, large or small uh, later on, but we will get to that later on. The first thing that you will need to be uh, looking for is going to be what size do you want the image banner to be. This should highlight things for us. So thanks to get a Shogun here. Uh, the the uh, the w width is going to be from 1200 to 2000 pixels wide and 400 to 600 pixels so it's going to be around this area but then we also have this uh, by tinyimage.com which should tell us a few things that we can just be using so for example for image with text overlay or banner images this is going to be quite big. You can use this if you want, and it's going to be 1800 by 1000. And you can use this if you want, and you can use any other things that are going to match this uh, thing, this highlight here. So you can just choose whatever you want. It depends on you, how much height you want it to be and how much wide you want it to be. So the first thing again is just going to be choosing the size. I will go for this one. It may work well for us. And again, it's just for an example, so it should work. So I will just be using this one. Okay, so next up, you just go ahead and open up your Canva. Uh, so once you obviously sign up, log in, do all of those things, uh, you can just go ahead and, and by the way, you don't really need any plans and pricing and nothing of, of that. You can use the free version. It should be good to go. Uh, so once that's said and done, you can just go ahead and click on create a design. Uh, from create a design, you can just go ahead and click on custom size uh, from the bottom left, where you can just put in the size that we just talked about. So with uh, 1800 and then here, I think it was 1000. So we should be good to go. Make sure it's in pixels, so PX. And then just go ahead and click, uh, click on create a new design. And we should be in the midst of it. Okay, so here we've got a few things that we can do. We've got actually plenty of things that we can do. What I suggest is just go ahead and go on YouTube, go on Pinterest, find a bunch of ideas and just see which one suits your business and your type and just go for it. You will need a product image most of the time. Or if not, you may just use a background, which is good looking. So I, actually, let's just do that. So to, I will be getting a background from Unsplash. I will just be using this for the, for the sake of the example. Uh, so if you want to go to Unsplash, you can just go ahead and uh, let's just do abstract background and see what we have. Uh, what you will need to do is also go to orientation, make sure it's landscape. Okay, so let's just browse for a little bit. And you don't want it to be like too, too, too detailed. Like the, the, the simpler it is, I think personally is better. But who knows? Some, some people actually just keep it white and just add text over it. For example, like if it's a sale or something, they just put like 50% off and then just a product image here. And you can do the same thing just with a background. So you can just download this background. So thanks to shape line here. Uh, and let's just put it to desktop to make it easier to find. So this, this is going to be our background. To upload it, you just go, go ahead to your Canva and click on uploads, where you can just upload files and you should find your background here. Uh, just give it a little bit of time and you can just drag and drop it to your canvas. So just put it over here and let's see. Uh, we need to make it fit. 
So we just put it over there, the top left, and make sure also the bottom right fits well. Okay, so now we have this. I don't really... Okay. So now we have a background. And now, obviously, you can make your own backgrounds. It's going to be fully up to you. I'm just, just showing you things you can do. So the next thing, if you want to add a product to your banner image, maybe it's on sale or something, you can just go ahead and get an image uh, of your product. Now, again, this is also from Unsplash. It's, it's not mine, and it's by Zach Wolf. And I will not be using it. I will just be using it for the, for the sake of the example, obviously. So let's say you have a product image. Now you can just... Um, Go ahead and remove the background. Now you have multiple ways to do so. You can just go ahead and go to your Google or just background remover. And you can just find this website for free. It's just going to do uh, the work for you. You can just upload image, upload your uh, product, give it a little bit of time. And boom, you've got yourself your product with no background. You can just simply click on download. And again, let's just put it to desktop to make things easier for us. And now we have our product. Now go ahead and simply just go to your uh, Canva again and just click on uploads and upload the PNG image that we have just created. And again, simply just drag and drop it. Now you can move it, make it bigger a little bit. And you can also do a few things like uh, you can just duplicate it and move it here. Uh, obviously not duplicate the same item, but you can just like, for example, if you have multiple items that you want uh, or you have them on sale or something, you can have them uh, like line up like this. And just the only thing you will need to be doing is replace uh, like three of them with three different products and you have yourself uh, four products here within the uh, the banner and just instead let's just make it one big product now again this this section of the video is going to be completely up to you uh, so I'm not really going to dictate what you will be doing exactly for your designing but like I said just go ahead watch uh, a bunch of designs or see see a bunch of designs and see which one you like and go for the one you like and try to just um, match it or do the similar thing. And then if you want to add text, you can just add a heading over here and you can just do, for example, 50% uh, and then off. You can make it as big or as small you want and you can also do bold. I think the bold was on already, so you can just keep it on. You can just move it around and make it like this. And you can also make it just a, uh, a bit bigger here. Obviously, for fonts and stuff, you can also do that. Uh, and you can do a few things. For example, um, let's say we want to just... First, let's just change the font for a font that we can just... Let's just keep it at this. So let's just do 50% off. You can change the color to it. And you can do, like, uh, seriously, just go, it's a canvas for you to just work on and just do whatever you want to. So it's completely up to you what you want to, how to, how you want to design it. And I, I, I can't really just stay here for long because the ideas of how to design it is just unlimited. So after you're done, you just simply go ahead and click on share and then click on download where you will simply click download. And it should have the image ready for you. Right here. Okay. Again, desktop. Now I'll go to Shopify and show you how it looks like. So I have just uploaded it. And let's actually see how it looks like. By the way, if you don't know how to do that. Uh, you just simply click on your banner after you click on customize within your Shopify store. And you just go to your first image, select image, and you just upload from here. And you should find it over here. And this is the same one that we have just created. So let's, let's just click on done. And we see now we have our new banner. Now, again, you can also do a few changes. Like we said earlier in the video, if you click on here, 
Uh, you should find like the small uh, or medium or large size for your banner, the opacity if you want. And um, I think this is the overlay. So let's just make it zero or just a little bit of opacity. Okay. And then you can just have uh, the rest of these options and to play around with. And this is simply how to create a banner. Again, I didn't stress much how to actually design it because there are going to be infinite ways of how to design the banner. And it's going to be completely up to you. And uh, like I said, just find a few things on the internet and try to copy them easily. And uh, if you don't know exactly how, you, you've got plenty of elements here. You can just search for specific elements and you should find them over here. So I hope this video helped you and uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.